Elizabeth. The much anticipated match between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the National Thunder of Equatorial Guinea at the Africa Cup of Nations ended in a one-all draw at the Olympic Stadium in Abimpe. In the third meeting since 2010, Nigeria impressed with an all-round display, registering more shots on target, but were pegged back in the 36th minute when Ivan Salvador gave Equatorial Guinea the lead. Three-time African champions, the Super Eagles, ensured their celebration was short-lived when African Footballer of the Year, Victor Osimen, equalized in the 38th minute. The Super Eagles could not capitalize on their chances and had to settle for a draw to set behind host country and leaders of the group, Cote d'Ivoire, with a point. Now, no doubt, Nigeria is chasing a fourth AFCON title, but they started their quest with a one-all draw. Now, joining us live via Zoom is Mutiu Adekboju from Lagos, a former Super Eagles forward who played at the 1992 AFCON where Nigeria finished second and the 1994 edition where the Super Eagles lifted the trophy. Mutiu Adekboju, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Good evening. It's good to see you once again. You were fondly called the headmaster, but at the moment, Nigeria started with a one-all draw against Equatorial Guinea. Are they heading in the right direction? Uh, well, uh, let's just hope that I mean the next game is going to be better than today's any game. Uh, all expectation was I mean, that uh, uh, Nigeria will win, but I mean you know, football is I mean what, what it is. I mean you cannot uh, think uh, that you can win before uh, the game, but I mean nevertheless, I think I mean. The players, I mean, did their best. Only that, I mean, they had, I mean, many chances in which, I mean, they did not, I mean, convert. And uh, I think uh, draw is not good enough. But let's hope that, I mean, uh, the game against, I mean, Cote d'Ivoire, the second game is going to be better. And, I mean, if we can uh, win that game, that, I mean, would be very, very good for Nigeria. Please tell us, uh, we are facing the host country. You surely have played in quite some Africa Cup of Nations matches. The pressure could be quite enormous, but how can Nigeria go through the Ivorian national team and get the maximum points? Um, well, uh, for the fact that I mean they are host country does not mean that uh, I mean Nigeria cannot beat them. I mean uh, I will recall I mean in Senegal '92, uh, the opening game uh, was played against Senegal, and uh, we, we defeated them two one. So. Uh, anything can happen, and I mean, I can recall too that I mean, 2013 when we won uh, the the Afcon, uh, Cote d'Ivoire were very good then, and I mean, everybody was thinking that maybe uh, Nigeria was going to uh, drop out. I mean, at the quarter final, and I mean, Nigeria won uh, the game, and I mean, we got into the final and won the the uh, the I mean, uh, uh, Afcon. So. I think, I mean, it is possible. It's something, I mean, possible that we can do even in, in their uh, backyard. We can uh, we can beat them in, in this game. If, I mean, all things are done very well and, I mean, the mistakes are made today, if they are, or, I mean, corrected, and uh, I believe, I mean, it is possible. You surely scored so many goals. Several shots on target for Nigeria against Equatorial Guinea. You must have been impressed with the goals scored by Victor Osimen. Uh, but um, going into the match against Cote d'Ivoire and of course the final group match against Guinea-Bissau, how should they take it easy? Well, uh, they should take it as if I mean, their life I mean, depend on it. Because, I mean, uh, not winning the game against I mean, Cote d'Ivoire might be very, very... Uh, Disastrous. I mean, for us, they have to go and I mean, try and win the game. They shouldn't let I me mean, go even looking for draw because you never know what is going to happen. Uh, Equatorial Guinea and uh, Guinea Bissau. So they have to take I mean, the two games. I mean, very serious. I said earlier before this game that I mean, the fourth game is very, very important. I mean, if you had I mean, the three points already in the first game, now you uh, things are just I mean, I mean, possibly have done, but. Uh, it's going to give you confidence and uh, you're going to go to the second game with I mean, much confidence and I mean three points. But now that I mean we are having just one point, I mean we have to go all out in the second game against I mean, Cote d'Ivoire to win uh, the game. 
Motiu Adepoju, 1994 Africa Cup of Nations winner. We'd like to thank you for joining us tonight on the NTA. Yeah, it's my pleasure, anytime. Thank I'm conversing you. with Mutiu Adepoju, who played in the final of the 1992 Africa Cup of Nations and also won it with Nigeria in the year 1994. Let's also move on and feel the pulse of some football followers on the streets of the country who have expressed mixed reactions and also they remain optimistic that Nigeria will have an injury-free campaign and go all the way to win the trophy on February 11. Because on paper, Equatorial Guinea were the weakest side we will face. Uh, we've beaten them before in, in the World Cup qualifying in 2010. So I see no reason why we should not be able to beat them. The Super Eagles started the match like a team that was going all out to win the match. But unfortunately, we didn't see that zeal. The moment that equalizer came, we expected more in the second half. One would have expected more, but you just have to look at Jose Pesero once again. Uh, it's not a satisfactory one for me personally because uh, we all expected Super Eagles to get all the maximum three points against uh, a lowly uh, rated Equatorial Guinea, but that is football for you. I believe uh, Jose Pesero must have noticed the new post, uh in the first game and uh, sincerely speaking, this result is unacceptable for the, to Nigerians, to me and to everyone. Jose Pesero needs to wake up, the players need to wake up and that is it. Most uh, bring more intensity into their game and of course uh, come to the realization that uh, this is African football, it's really tough, really physical and the conditions might really not be the best uh, but that is uh, the beauty of African football. The coach also, I uh, must give him kudos, uh, uh, being bold enough uh, to include uh, Alassane Yusuf in the starting 11 and uh, uh, Stanley Wabali, you know, it shows that uh, the coach also wants to achieve results with the team and of course trying out. In other results, uh, pharaohs of Egypt were held to a two-or draw by the members of Mozambique. While what we're having right now on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority shows that the Black Stars of Ghana are losing by a goal to nil to the Cape Verde national team. They call themselves the Blue Sharks. So you can tune in to the network service of the NTA to enjoy live matches of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. And that's your African update. I'm Ayo Deji. Mark it. It's back to Elizabeth for the rest of the